All right, it's December 6th. You know what that means? National Miners Day. The guys that work underground, not the other kind of miners. So put your pants back on, CNN. <laughs> so have you heard the glorious news? Make a wish finally got wind of Jimmy's story and is giving him a makeover. Dreams really do come true. <laughs> what rodeo clown did you service to get that shirt? <laughs> anyway, take it. we can answer that later. But also big news, disgraced attorney Michael Avenatti has been sentenced to 14 years in prison for embezzling millions of dollars <laughs> from clients. Wow, they feel strongly. Yeah. Guys slimier than a bowl of okra with a side of slugs. Embezzling, of course, means stealing if you do it while wearing a suit, tie, and one of those sexy shirt garters. Yeah. Thank God I worked out for the photo shoot. In addition to the 14 years behind bars, Avenatti will also have to pay almost 11 million bucks in restitution to four clients and the IRS. Restitution. Sounds like when I pay women to take a nap with me. <laughs> oh, stop it. I know, I know, I know. Where did he come up with that one, huh? <laughs> this new sentence is separate from the one he's currently serving, which is five years for trying to extort money from Nike and also stealing Stormy Daniels' hard-earned cash right from under her double Ds, <laughs> otherwise known as Silicon Valley. <laughs> Yep, he snatched 300 grand from a book advance from Daniels. Guess I should have chose a better verb there. But anyway, <laughs> the cash taken from Stormy, however, was easy to trace since it was all $1 bills. <laughs> I f ugh. Alvinati will start serving those 14 years after he finishes that term, and by then I'll be 60. Now, for those of you too young to remember, Avenatti became quite the liberal hero. You know, like a tax collector or a doctor who gives sex changes to kids. It happened when he took on President Trump by sidling up next to Stormy Daniels' rump. Poor thing, she thought Avenatti was going to help her, but instead he screwed her. <laughs> Something she'd normally get paid for, but <laughs> in this case, it was the reverse. And the media, they couldn't get enough of Avenatti and that slick skull of his, handicapped by their own biases and poor judgment. Remember all this nonsense? You got lucky tonight. We're back with attorney Michael Avenatti. He is a main player. To me, you're like the Holy Spirit. You are <laughs> all places at all times. Oh He's out there saving the country. Look, you know, look, I think you're doing a hell of a job. I don't think you're in this for money. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. I like that sack of eyeballs in the back of my fridge. That didn't age well. No wonder CNN gave Brian Stelter his walking papers. Well, whatever it takes to get him to exercise. <laughs> that was mean. But this whole Avenatti scandal bo bolsters arguments you've come to hear a lot from this show. First, I always say never date a stripper, and not just because it's your stepmom. But also that the media happily chases any shiny ball placed in front of them as long as the shiny ball indulge, indulges their assumptions. In this case, it was all about evil Trump. Avenatti capitalized on their Trump derangement and rode it like a drugstore donkey into any left-wing wet dream factory that would have him. True. <laughs> but the good news, it's yet another media narrative falling apart. The news builds stories like they're a house of cards, and as time flies by, it creates a gust of wind which blows their houses over and some take more time than others. You got former President Trump's nuclear secrets that turned up in a cardboard box in Mar-a-Lago that ended up being memorabilia. So that story went away faster than the polyester rash on Jimmy's chest. <laughs> they accused Trump of what the Rosenbergs were executed for, but no correction necessary. I'm thinking the media's gotten more people killed than cats cooking. Turns out crypto king Sam Bankman Freed was more like klepto king. After it was discovered, he was using clients' funds allegedly to backstop losses at another business he founded. But like Avenatti riding in on Trump derangement, Creepy Sam rode in on virtue signaling. Another scam the media swallows like a pound of sardines during feeding time at this view. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
And where did all that money go? Houses, swimming pools, drugs. He certainly didn't use client money for a haircut and breast reduction. <laughs> These are what happens when you mate Mark Cuban with a toilet brush. <laughs> it's uncanny. I suppose it's a coincidence he was a top Democrat donor and he hasn't been arrested yet. Like it's a coincidence that holiday parties end when Brian Kilmeade shows up. <laughs> We're also learning a whole lot about how the media and the government colluded to subvert an election through social media. Despite what the media said, Hunter's laptop is as real as my gorgeous hairless pecs. <laughs> Point is, I'm gonna tell you what you already know. Whatever the mainstream media backs, run screaming from it like you just saw Anna Navarro in a three-way mirror. <laughs> and whatever they tell you, you know it isn't true. Take it with a grain of salt, like when I promised my interns a bonus. It's on them for believing me. <laughs> and the next time the mainstream media tries to sell you something, like a charismatic lawyer fighting for the underdog, keep walking. Because unlike you, their memories are shorter than our president's. They think you're stupid and lazy. And boy, if that's not the pot calling the kettle a person of color. <laughs> it's no wonder no one trusts them anymore. And that's why this Christmas, so many of them are getting a severance package along with a lump of coal. Let us welcome tonight's guests. She's done so many shows, she ends every conversation with, we'll be right back. Anchor of the story, Martha McCallum. <laughs> And just like the World Cup, he leaves people disappointed. Host of Fox Across America, Jimmy Fallon. His journalistic skills give liberals the chills. Author of So You've Been Sent to Diversity Training, Chadwick Moore. And her Christmas stocking still has a foot in it. Fox <laughs> News contributor, Kat Tim. <laughs> There it is. Martha, you've been reporting the news for quite a while, always been a straight shooter. I believe you were the first show I was ever on when I came to Fox. And then you have during me that show. For all of this. Yeah, it was, the, it was something called the, wasn't it about, it was, did it have the name The Desk? In? The Live Desk, it was right over there. Yeah, it was right over there. <laughs> and you had everybody seated around the Live Desk. And as the show started, right. somebody tapped me on my shoulder and asked me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> got bumped? Because some big story happened. <laughs> and they pulled me away. They said, get the loser off the set. Oh. <laughs> that was my first appearance uh, when I moved here from New York City. I was a little get kid in a big city, barely 20. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so so we're you were like probably 40? following a car around Los Angeles <laughs> that was being followed by police cars. We got to go. Yes. So. Isn't it weird that this, here's an entity, the media, that's supposed to shine a light of, on, on truth or expose truth, fell for this. And you bet, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't mean to sound like you've been around forever, but you, you've seen this a lot. What is, the, what is their weakness? What is it? You know, he was uh, exactly what you said. He was promising them the goods on Trump. Mm -hmm. He had Stormy Daniels by his side. And the disgusting thing is that he ripped her. He promised her, right, that he yes. was going to make, make it all right by her, that Trump was going to pay her money while he was stealing from her book advance. Amazing. And then she ended up, the, you know, it fell apart in the courts, the Trump case, and the decision was that she had to pay Trump $300,000 in the end. <laughs> it's amazing. So, I mean, he has to be, besides the fact that he is disingenuous and slimy, as you said, and now is, like, crying in a courtroom saying, <laughs> please, you know, see all the good things that I've done in my life. And they're like, well, on the good and evil ledger, you got a long way to go, yeah. buddy. Um, so he's, you know, he's trying to find some, some mediation in all of this. But it is absolutely repulsive how that when I watched that, that uh, piece of video that you guys strung together, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, yes. the future Anna president Navarro. of the United <laughs> States. Yeah. My God, what a He's, mess. Uh, yeah, it's incredible, Jimmy. Uh -huh. So you are not alone in stealing from sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> are you about my outfit? No, oh, okay. I'm just saying that that's what he did with Stormy Daniels. Oh, that's funny. Well, my outfit has nothing to do with sex workers. No, um, it's anti-sex working. No, I was like, I'm a West... <laughs> no one will sleep with you in that shirt. I, that's not true. I'm a Western guy. Growing yeah, up, we yeah, loved to play I, a game I, called Cowboys. I, I can't believe a Miller's Outpost is still around. <laughs> it was... 
<laughs> that one crushed. <laughs> Going up, growing up in the backyard, we loved to play this game called Cowboys and Elizabeth Warrens. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> nice. Yo, Greg. Nice. Greg. When in doubt, red meat it out. Exactly. You know stick, uh -huh. stick with me, okay? Because there's a couple of things here. Okay. Okay. The fact that he was being touted by Stelter is my favorite thing in the world as a presidential contender. Yes. That that's how boundless their desperation was to stop Trump. Okay. Mm -hmm. History will show he never rode in the presidential limo, but he did make the license plate. Yes. <laughs> nice. But, but back to what Martha was saying and what you were saying, okay, is everybody, now that we're a little removed from the situation, you realize they were the crazier entity in all of this. Mm -hmm. Because anybody could be the hero of the day, even if they were the villain yesterday. Exactly. Let me give you an example. Michael Cohen. Right. Remember he was Trump's oh, yeah. fixer. If the tanning bed broke, he'd fix the bulbs or whatever yeah. he was doing. Yes. And he was like literally Hitler. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then he was like, he left the Trump world and became a contributor. Yeah. Like the next day as if it didn't happen the day before. Yeah. And that's what's so laughable about it. Yeah. And the Avenatti confession, if you saw it in court, is my favorite thing. Like Stormy Daniels thought it was bad acting. She's like, come <laughs> on, man. I've, I've seen a better plot in Naughty Nurses 5. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so that's... But you know what? That's an un underrated version of Naughty Nurses. One of the rare instances where the sequels are better than the original. I know. I, mean, I know. <laughs> R.I.P. Naughty Nurses. <laughs> so, uh, Chadwick, um, it, it, do you think it's poor reasoning, or is it uh, uh, that causes their misdiagnosis, or is it their politics? Well, I think what makes it so frustrating is there's no accountability and they don't even care. Yes. And they don't even double down when they make mistakes because it would kind of be respectable. Yeah. If they were like, screw you, we love him. Yeah. But instead, <laughs> they're just like, nope, that never happened. Moving on. Yeah. So it makes it even more slimy. They don't and regret. They, they don't forget. regret. Yeah. They forget instead of regret. And I, I wish I was like that. And I think that does something <laughs> internally when you live your life like that, when mm -hmm. you're never honest and always have to keep running from your mistakes. I think that's why they are the way they are. I think they're also so separated from their customers. They know that no one's yeah. ever going to question them. Yeah. Yep. I will have to say, I'm going to miss Michael's, uh, I won't say coked up. I'll say high octane late night DMs that you would send me <laughs> angry about things. <laughs> Which I found him to be kind of a lovable figure after a little while. I mean, I think the Sam Bankman Freed guy yeah. did a lot more damage than this guy did. Yeah, maybe so. But, uh... <laughs> so, Kat, uh, what do you make of this? How do you feel? What do you think Stormy Daniels is doing right now? <laughs> Probably learned some lessons. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just can't believe all these people are just running around trusting other people. I know! <laughs> I used to do that. Uh, I, used to, I used to think you could trust someone, like, as long as, you know, they knew that, you know, you had something on them that you could destroy them. Right. Turns out that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, I used to think you could trust yourself. That's not true either. Yeah. So I don't know. We just, just stop trusting. Just yeah. stop trusting because you never know. It could be this guy. And even, in, you know, may, maybe if you're not, a lot of people would want to be this guy mm -hmm. because they just haven't been given that kind of opportunity to screw someone over, mm. you know? That's an upbeat message, Kat. Thank you. Merry yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting into the holiday spirit. Yeah, that is so good. No, it's true. It's, it wasn't it Ronald Reagan who once said, trust but verify? Yeah. <laughs> he was talking about his wife. Yeah. <laughs> That is so. I went with it. <laughs> because I know. He lovely thought, marriage. Like, <laughs> he thought because he got he, that he could get away with it because yeah. everybody loved him. But it turns out nope. being famous can help you with a lot of things. Doing crimes, not one of them. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.